Lord God, I thank you today. It's April 8th, 2024. And I come, Lord God, giving you praise, glory, and honor in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Lord God, I thank you, Lord, for today. I thank you for your son, Yeshua. I thank you for your Holy Spirit. I thank you, O oh Lord God, as I come repenting of any sins I may have committed in your eyesight, O oh Lord God. I repent, Lord God, in the mighty name of Yeshua. I repent, O oh Lord God, for this United States of America, Lord God. The people we've killed, the people we've done all kind of mischief to. Your people, Lord God. My people, Lord God. So God, today I repent on this eighth day of April which you have also marked, oh Lord God, as a day that an eclipse will happen and that a sign and a wonder will take place in the heavens that is being allowed by you. Elohim, the great creator and master of all things. So on this day, oh Lord God, I thank you and I give you praise, Lord God. Lord God, I decree your word. I decree your armor over my life today and over anyone's life that is listening to this. Listening to this video or this uh, recording. Thank you, Lord. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Lord God, I would be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. For I put on the whole arm of God today so that I would be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For I do not wrestle against flesh and blood. For I wrestle against principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this world. Spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, I take up the whole arm of God. So that I will be able to stand in the evil day to withstand in the evil day. And when I have done all to stand, I will stand therefore, having my loins grit about with truth. I put on the breastplate of righteousness and I should my feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, I take the shield of faith to quench every fiery dart that the wicked one throws at me. And I take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, Lord, which, which is your word, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and being watchful until this end with all preservance and supplication for all saints. Praying, Lord. And as for me, O oh Lord God, little old me, I pray that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of the gospel in which I am an ambassador in chains. And in it, I will speak boldly as I ought to speak. I declare and decree your word today, O Lord. I declare and decree the armor of God over my spirit. Because I know that everything that happens, happens in the spiritual realm. So I cover myself. I cover my spirit with the armor of God. I thank you today, Lord. I come today, Lord God, eclipsing out false light. Anything that's in my life, anything that's in your life, as you listen to this recording, that's false light. Say, Wendy, how can this be false light? How can it be a such thing as false light? The word says that. That the devil and his demons, they they display or they display themselves as an angel of light. So there has to be a false light. There has to be a light that that is it shines like light and it looks like light, but it's darkness. That's crazy, because it's almost as light. It's like, it's like, it's, it's almost like you see the sun up at the sky and you think that's the sun. It, it looked like the sun, but then it turns dark 
once it has your attention, once it has your involvement, once it has consumed you, that sun turns dark. Think about that today as you, as we think about the wonder in the world that takes that's going to take place today, which is the eclipse, how the moon will cover the sun, how the moon will cover the light and make it dark. There has to be a false light. So today, Lord God, on this eighth day of April, 2024, the day that you're going to allow a wonder and a sign to take place in the skies, Lord God, we eclipse out of our lives false light. Anything that's masquerading around in our lives as light and as darkness, we eclipse it out today. We eclipse that false light out of our lives today in the mighty name of Yeshua. Glory. Mm. Glory. Hallelujah to your name, Lord God. Thank you this morning. Thank you this afternoon. Thank you tonight. Whenever you hear this video, whenever you hear this message, whatever you want to call it, thank him today. The word says that he uses signs, the, the stars, the sun, and the moon for signs and wonders, not to predict the future and not to use it for divination to predict the future. That's not the purpose of the stars, the sun, and the moon. This is a form of these things are created by God. So he can't communicate. It's a form of communication through God that, you know what I'm saying, we search the scriptures and can get the understanding of the signs and the wonders in the skies. But we don't, what we don't do is start believing in the sun, the stars, and the, and the moon. We believe in the great creator and the master and what he uses the sun, stars, and the moons to communicate to us. So God, we thank you today for that understanding. We thank you for that clarity. We thank you for your word. God. We thank you for your word today, Lord God. I eclipse out. I mean, I, 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 I pray that we can get to a place to eclipse out and a and, and, uh, false light, but also being uh, blinded. Mm. This eclipse is so, so symbolic for me this year because it's like, and I can see. This is how I see the sun. God, I thank you this morning. I thank you for these revelations that you, these downloads that you dropping on me today. I thank you. Y'all know I'm emotional. You know I'm a crybaby for the Lord. So it is what it is. But I see the sun as an eye. The real light, the, the eye of enlightenment, the eye of wisdom, the eye of knowledge, the eye of understanding, the eye of clarity, the sun, the light. But then here comes darkness to cover that light, Oof. to cover from Come that light from seeing, from cover that, when cover that, covering that eye from seeing, from covering, covering that eye from getting knowledge, from covering that, covering that eye from understanding wisdom. This is what I see: the covering of light. I see great darkness covering this eye. So that it can't see. Mm.
The world is fantasized about this eclipse. This is how you know that um, it's allowed by God because this is this is the signs and warnings. But that don't mean it's a good thing. It's a sign or a warning. Don't forget warnings. 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 The moon is covering the sun. And this is a total. So this is total blindness. Total. Complete, completely unable to see. Total blindness. Darkness. Total darkness. Mm. So today, just make sure that you're eclipsing things in your life that you don't want there. Things that don't display the true light of God, the the um the bright and morning star. If if it's not that and it doesn't line up with that, then make sure you're eclipsing that out of your life today. And eclipse means making less important to obscure. Um, to obscure, to uh, block out. Okay, so today I just wanted to um, speak on and pray and talk about this phenomenal event that's going to take place today because it is a wonder. It is a wonder that 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 the great Creator will. Sh- as allowing the earth, the sun, and the moon to all line up in one um, space in the in the um, ethers. That's amazing. That in itself goes to show how amazing, how awesome, how outstanding, how marvelous, how ooh, how. We can't even consume him. Oh, how who, who does that? I mean, who, who line up all who line who lining that all up? It can't be nobody else but Abba. <laughs> and the thing about it is, these people on this earth think that they can figure it out. They say NASA is shooting some things in the in the eclipse today. So, you know, trying to figure out what he does. He's a mystery. They try to rule and control everything. They will be the demise of this earth. Man, God gave dominion over to man. And this is what they do. Shooting dango. A rockets or whatever into the eclipse for they can do research. This is what they do. doing. I hear heading straight for doom. But anyway, so keep your eyes on the bright morning star. Recognize what's real light, what's false light in your life. The last eclipse we had was in 2017. Three years later, the COVID hit. Three years later, the COVID hit. hit. If you could take yourself back to 2017, there may be some things that came into your life that are not, wasn't healthy. They came into your life that wasn't healthy. And the ending of those things Today would be the ending of those things. If you have things in your life that you can remember from 2017 that you opened up to come in that wasn't healthy. Today, you can eclipse those things out because the day starts another. Um, it's like a timestamp, like ending, beginning. Because that was seven years ago. So two, the last total eclipse was seven years ago. 
So 2017, something came into something may came into your life. You know what I'm saying? False light could have came in. And then today, seven years later, you can eclipse out that, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like a force, it's like a it's like a shadow. You know what I'm saying? It's like a shadow. You have to look at that as well with the sun and the moon. The moon is the opposite side of the sun. So it's like you could have been open the door for some type of darkness seven years ago. And now we're turning it around into light. You could have today. It could be our, um, it could be you opened up light seven years ago, 17. And now darkness is trying to come in today. See, it's a, it's a foreshadowing. I, um, thank you, Lord. And just as I continue to speak, I just keep getting different revelations and different examples of what's taking place on, um, you know, today doing this wonder and this warning and this sign, you know, so just position yourself to receive, um, the greatness of God, position yourself to, um, Eclipse those things out of your life that you want out. Um, pray for this United States of America. Um, continue, you know, people going crazy about going to get water and food and batteries. Go get your bank out the money. Or get your money out the bank. All that's going on. Listen. If the Bible says... No one knows the day, the time, the day, the hour. Nobody knows when, you know, you know, nobody know nothing. And if the news is telling you to do it, um, if they're telling you to do it, it's because they're up to something. This United States of America, these people, these people who think they're God. It, it's not, you know, that God's going to do something. He's already doing what he's going to do, covering up the moon and the sun. But he's doing that to tell these people, I tell, you know, it's, as a warning, you're doing the most. And they trying to implement fear through the tell. They telling a vision. <laughs> they telling a vision. And we watching it and believing it. They telling the vision that they have for this. United States of America. But you have your own vision that God has given you. We're part of this United States. So anything that affects this state, I mean, of this country, we will be affected by it. But this is why you have to also remember, this is how you have to also get yourself lined up with the king. Because even though there was famine in the land, Egypt had plenty of um, food. And he had they had food because um, of Joseph and the um, prophecy and the and the and the dream that he predicted for um, Pharaoh. So, one child of God can make a difference. One child of God can make a difference. But God's children will survive and thrive through, an in, through any circumstance or situation that man has. Um, implemented on themselves or have done to their selves. So be not afraid. Be not dismayed. He says, I am your God. I will help you. I will strengthen you. And I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I pray that everybody have a blessed day today.
I pray that you position yourself during this eclipse to pray and to um, get in tune with God during this time. I believe the eclipse starts at 2 p.m. I'm not for sure what how it's going to do here. I think it's two from 2 p.m. to 3.15. Um, like I said, um, pray. Uh, eclipse out those things that you don't want in your life. That means any false light that's in your life. That sounds so, I was, I was going to say it like any light of darkness. That sounds so crazy. Like how is light darkness? Oh, it is. So any light of darkness that you have in your life, eclipse it out today. Call it out. Cast it down. Rebuke it. So it won't be in your life no more. Today is a day to shut down false light. Because if God is allowing the real light to, to be blocked by the moon because it's a warning or a sign for the world, that means there has to be something that you need to eclipse out. Something that you need to eclipse out. Eclipse it out today. Don't give it a warning. And it's not a sign. You kicking that stuff out today. So I pray that for you in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Um, and then y'all know how I do. I see y'all when I see you. And I'll see you soon. Bye.